Eh, that's better. I can show it as I go. <laughs> hey guys, it caught me off guard there for a second. I know that a lot of you have always wanted to make candy and thought you never could. Why? Same reason why I did. I didn't have a candy thermometer. Don't you need a thermometer to make candy? You don't now. I actually have two candy recipes and this one I actually came up with today. This is my new, my Christmas candy recipe. I'm doing some care packages for some loved ones and they're gonna get some of it. I can't wait to see what they think. My husband tried the first one. He says, thumbs up. <laughs> I did put the description below for you, but to recap that, what you will need, and these are, I call these my uh, almond choco delights. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. You have almond gets a little bit much, so we're going to do this sitting down. So I've got everything right here uh, to get off your feet, right? Okay. You need raw almonds or natural, all natural almonds. And if you can't get those, just now they are a little bit pricey. I will admit that to you. I just happen to have those. So I got some regular almonds, natural, but still have the skin on them. Now, to blanch the almonds, because you've got to have these almonds blanched for this candy recipe, you one minute and not a second more. Nope. One cup of almonds. You put them in your two-cup measuring cup, if you have one, if you don't have one. Why three minutes? Well, little known fact. At two minutes in the microwave on high, three minutes. Easy, isn't it? This is the easiest candy recipe I ever came up with. I love it. So you'll need a cup of blanched almonds. Now, once you put the almonds in that microwave, the second that timer goes off, you take those almonds in a strainer to the sink. You're using a deep colander because you want, and you don't want to lose your almonds halfway across the kitchen. <laughs> I forgot about almonds doing that because they're slippery underneath, so they go fling right across the room. So one cup of almonds, now you've blanched them in the microwave, which is the easier way than waiting for You're going to have that. Now, those are used, well, actually you want my cups for the fact that part of them are going to be on the top of your candy. So put enough almonds in there, blanch enough of them that you're going to have enough to do your almond butter. That's what I said, almond butter, with no oil added. My almond butter has some. So you take your, that's those, I got them all right here. That's the blanched almonds. It'll be about twice as many. So you want to put that half a cup of blanched to the side. The other cup goes into your food processor or your blender. And what? And, uh, it takes a while to get almond butter. Let me tell you, you're not adding anything to it. And I got a wild hair and I thought, well, I don't want these to be so nutty that there's some sweet taste to them. Well, I put in two tablespoons of a tablespoon of agave syrup. Sweet because honey's not super sweet and agave kind of like complements it. And you're gonna put that in the almonds as they're going around your food processor, or you can use your blender if you don't have a food processor. And it's going to chop those up for a very long time. It can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. It's not a long time, I know, but so it's, it's too long. And so, state where that's when you're going to put in a teaspoon of almond extract. That's to enhance the almond flavor. Tacos, where it's the little round pieces, but they're like a size of a quarter, they're kind of flat, and you melt those down in a. Well, you have to have a double boiler to do that. Or not. You can use your microwave to melt the chocolate, but then you have to keep it in a melted state. That's the hard part because as soon as it starts to cool and starts losing that heat, it's going to get hard because that's what it's supposed to do when you're making candy. This wasn't any real expensive thing. This is a generic brand. It just says chocolate candy coated. Works great, by the way. The only thing with this particular brand I found, 
I have, it comes in big chunks. This thing is really cool because you can actually put this in your microwave to melt it, to make your candy. So you already have a pan. You don't have to have a double boil. You got Thing is, this will, to, to re-soften re it up. You take, in this case, what I took out to make sure I had enough. Because I hate running out of chocolate. And it's going to harden up anyway, and I can use what's hardened up tomorrow. It, it doesn't go bad. Because usually it doesn't stick around here very long. So, you melt that either in your microwave, in the, the little tray that comes with it. You can put it in a measuring cup. A Pyrex measuring cup is best. And melt it in there. If you have a double boiler, a double boiler is bottom pot is halfway full of water. Top pot is what you put your chocolate pieces in to melt them. If you don't have a double, it's so funny. And so you melt your chocolate. And you get it nice and liquidy. Now, I have a double boiler right here on the table, but it's not really a double boiler. It's just a way to keep my chocolate moving. And I'm stirring it just to keep it moving too. Oh, and when you're melting your chocolate, if you do it on top of the stove, just in the saucepan, to do it that way, do it on a letting, but stir it constantly to where it's actually melted. I and I happen to have these little plastic bowls and it fits in the top perfect. I have hot water down here to keep the chocolate getting too cool and getting hard. And I have this. Okay, so you've got your chocolate melted. You've got your um, your almond butter done. Well, when it comes out of the food processor or your mixer in a good mid-sized bowl, and then get one and one and a half, well, actually one to two cups of confectioner sugar, depending on your consistency that you like. I do it to just kind of like a, a soft, doughy consistency. Do not powder it. Whatever you do, do not powder like put more powder on it to make, and that's what you want. That's what makes it so good. So this is what it looks like just like your regular dough. It looks like, you know, cookie dough. That's what it looks like. Before I used my hands in it, I did use like a spatula or a wooden spoon. Wooden spoon's perfect for that. I mean little piece. About the size of hmm. I'll say a cherry, a small cherry. That like this. And that's about it. Poke that toothpick right in there. Just like that. Okay. And I have my bowl of flaked sweetened coconut. A cup of it. Just so I don't run out. And I'm going to take this with me. But because the chocolate's hot. Okay. I got to show you. I got to turn this around for you guys and say, there we go. There's it. There it is. There's the umpest. And I'm going to take and roll it in. On top of wax paper, real quick, you gotta do this kind of quick. And you take one right on top of the stuff. Now you let them dry, cool, however you want to call it, right there on the wax paper. And that is an almond choco delight with coconut. That's what I should call them. <laughs> so. I've got lots of candy to make for my little care packages. Now, do you think you can make these? Huh? Do you? I think you can. You can eat these as big as you want. I just use the dime size rolled ball because once when you press the, you like this one. I'm gonna dip it into chocolate, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna put the almond on first. And then sprinkle the coconut. I don't know. I think I like the first way better. I've been trying to decide which way. Let's do it both ways. See, then I'm messing with my fingers all over. I don't think that's such a good idea. What do you think? Huh? I don't know what you think. What? Well, you got a comment. That's what that's for. <laughs> I get really excited when I come up with a new recipe. It's so darn good. You know, it started out, I was going to make almond butter. You know, something different to put on bread. And I thought, I have chocolate. I have almonds. There's another candy that I learned how to make. 
I thought, well, this is kind of like that. That I need. Ooh, let's try that one. So I tried it, and it turned out good. I used my husband as a guinea pig, by the way. He doesn't mind. He loves to eat. He likes sweets. He's got sweet tooth. So you dip it, put in the coconut. And as long as the coconut, this is, that's what I should have. Coconut's on the bottom, right? You still need something to glue the nut, the uh, almond to it. Put it in the right where the tooth goes. My husband's exact words were, it's going to be a very well. I've been sick and in and out of the hospital and stuff. But they've never had these either. It's just like something brand new that I just came up with. And I'm getting kind of excited. Because it's always nice to give stuff, you know, Christmas time. You don't have to. There's no rule that says you have to buy anybody anything. All you have to do is share their love. And so far, my hot water underneath is keeping this chocolate right where I want it. Mmm. Almond Choco Delights. I'm going to keep that name, I think. They're just sweet enough. Of course, if you have a nut allergy, you really can't eat them. But the really neat thing with something like a candy like this, you don't. And that's one of the main reasons growing up. I never thought I was going to be ever learn how to make candy. Then my mom a recipe. Um, and I thought, you know, here I am making almond butter. It's kind of like the same kind of thing. Will you guys? Come back and visit me again and let me know if you made them, how they turn out. I was shocked these turned out this good. Honestly, I was. It gets kind of scary whenever you start a new recipe. <laughs> and I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas and a safe one. And there's another reason why you don't keep, don't add too much of the confectioner sugar to your almond butter to make the the base part is because if you do it comes dry and it crumbles and you can't get it can't do anything i'm gonna use two, two of these to get this chocolate under control <laughs> but if you put it on there real quick i'm gonna use some of the chocolate for glue put it right under the almond you can do that there's no rule says you can i just made one that didn't have coconut on it just in case so when I send my care packages, I'll have half with coconut, half without. My cousin will probably say, why didn't you put coconut on the other ones? I, that would be him. Yeah. He's funny. I've never met him in person, but I would love to meet him. And I probably should put coconut on that because I noticed something when you don't, on these anyway. <laughs> I'm going to put some on there. Kind of, either a little bird's nest. Hold on. Throw them in the fridge. You can even throw them in the freezer. Any coating has been melted and made and it hardened when it cooled down so if you're going to melt it it's going to harden anyway so it's already got that incorporated into its recipe i hope you have enjoyed this video i've enjoyed creating these things because i didn't know that i had it in in here to do candles there so please give me a thumbs up on my little candy creation it's the first time i've ever made it and it actually was a success and then share my video, if you would. And when you share it, leave me a comment. Another reason why you put the wax paper under them is they can be messy. They really can. They're so cute. This one's got a little naked spot. It's like painting. You find a little spot that's showing the dough underneath. You say, like, oh, I'll just paint it on there. And I glue it things. Hey, why don't you subscribe? Yeah. I would love for you all to subscribe so I can have more incentive to kind of think, hmm, what can I come up with now? They haven't seen. <laughs> Are you ready for crock pots? You're like, man, all of a sudden you get new ideas and I just, you know what? I'm going to share with you my crock pot. Pot. Duh. They're all just, you can smell it when you walk in the house. And all you can say is, I don't have to cook anything, it's already cooked. I wish I knew who the person was that created the crock pot so I'd run up and grab them, give them a hug and a kiss.
because when you when you're raising kids, it's a godsend. It really is. Oh, here's a trick to getting the toothpick out. So now you can also take these as long as you leave a little spot to glue the nut onto it. Just cover the whole the Hershey's Kisses on top. Yeah, I don't like those. We never did. They're too boring to me. More fun and creative. This has been the Almond Choco Delights candy recipe. No candy thermometer needed. Very easy. Very tasty. I hope that you will try it. It's another reason why I do this because a lot of people um, like to share recipes and some people like to steal them. Yes, I steal them. One of my <laughs> mother, <laughs> and we've been eating those since, and even after she a cookbook. A stolen cookie recipe, and it was in a cookbook. I'm telling tales, but they're not false. They're true. Of course, that's what people told me. So I'm a buddy. Everybody gets to eat good stuff, right? Well, looks like I'm going to head heat, heat up my water again. I knew that was coming because I'm too busy talking. And that didn't have to do with working. So almond butter, besides flavor almonds, you can flavor it whatever you want. You can have almond butter center. The confectioner sugar, of course. And you can put cherry in there if you want. You can cherry almond chocolate. You don't have chocolate covered cherries with almond. A very sweet, decadent treat. Give them a shot. I would love to know and love to hear. Because my recipes are easy. Flour in there. Nope. No wheat flour at all. <laughs> Just some confectioner sugar. First time you make them, it only has maybe a tablespoon of whatever. But you beat that egg white until you get to the end of your pinky finger. No bigger. Same thing like with these. You start out tiny, but when you squish it with the nut on top, it gets twice its size. Sometimes three times. It made one egg white. It made 72 pieces of ch Christmas candy. <laughs> the great thing about that recipe is it's the egg white, confectioner sugar, whatever flavor you want to make them. Cherry, lemon, whatever. I thought about putting rum in these, by the way. We need nothing fancy, but you can make the centers color. Use a couple drops of food coloring when you're doing your um, confectioner sugar uh, paste. It's all marzipan, but not real. I don't know how to make marzipan. Unless this is marzipan, and I don't know. I don't know. I have to look that up. That would be a good thing to do, because I think marzipan is almond. But for almond, as far as substitutions go, it calls for almond meal. Well, almond meal is just almonds crushed up. Remember the little spice grinder cups? Um, I haven't seen almond meal anywhere in the store, so I thought, well, how the devil am I going to make these? I had this idea in my head to make it. If I don't have any almond meal, I go, wait a minute. I got, I got almond the same thing. It's like cornmeal. Um... These with some color, and I have some. So I think I'm going to do it. Maybe. We'll, we'll find out. But I do want to do some main dishes, and then you're they're coming your way. We're going to do carp block dinner. We're doing some. You ready for that one? Then comment. If you want to see the best oh, eye round roast meal you've ever seen in your life, eye round roast. Or just say crock pot. You can do one word. Don't be don't be scared. I don't bite. I may bark at loud, but I don't bite. Comment crock pot. Um I don't have much room, but if you're in the neighborhood, come on by. But remember when you get here, you come near my kitchen, better kick those shoes off and stay barefoot like me. Guys, I hope to see you again and I hope you tune in. And I hope somebody says crockpot in the comments. Because I'm a... But you better be back here before New Year's. Counting on you. Come on, subscribe. Take a chance. I'm going to sell you out. Barefoot.